Hi, I'm Matthew. Welcome to my channel. And to your surprise, I have already wet my face. So let's go ahead and get on to the shade. This shave is going to be dedicated to my grandpa Lawrence. It would have been his 114th birthday. He fell just a few years shy of making it to 100. And today's shave soap is going to be by Lothar Grooming and this is black. Now I did smell this. I couldn't wait whenever I got it out of the package. Uh, this is something new that I recently got. And the scent on this is a um, is a collaboration with the Razor Company and Lothar Grooming. And here is the pour. Now this is a uh, dupe of Tom Ford's Noir. And so if you're familiar with that scent, you'll know what the scent profile is. But if you're not, I will put his scent picture right there. And I do have that whipped up in my Captain's Choice Copper Bowl. And I can tell you that the scent on this is pretty strong, even before it's lathered just out of the tub, which is kind of nice because if you're not using the matching splash, it will carry over for a little while. And so today's brush is gonna be the Trotter's Handcraft brush. And this is a, a bore knot. I decided I wanted to give the bore knot a try. And so I've been breaking that in for a little bit <clears throat> and I feel that it's ready for a shave. And uh, let's go ahead and get lathered up here for pass number one. I may have too much water on my face. Now this soap, um, I did a live video on Instagram and I had kind of spoke about the, uh oh, I'm, I'm already, it's already getting on my black shirt. I, f I figured I would go ahead and go all black. I should have used a black brush, but I just thought, eh. But anyway, uh, so this particular, um, what was I saying? Oh yes, the, the lather with this is more of kind of a creamy, uh, texture to it instead of like a, your normal lather has kind of got the aeration in it so it's going to be more like a foam consistency and uh i used a quarter of a teaspoon with 13 milliliters of water let me add a little bit more here this this knot here is a uh, another one of those knots that it's not real good about splaying <laughs> uh the the backbone in it is kind of light all right so now that I have that all over the place, this is sometimes these shirts that I have in the video is not what I'm wearing. And uh, so like on my gray shirt, some people are like, you're wearing a gray shirt. That's really a work shirt or a shave shirt. And today's razor is gonna be the Blackland Vector with the open comb and I love this razor. And I picked this razor today because on the last shave that I did with that strange look blade, I definitely got some irritation. So whenever we're done with the video, you may still see some irritation from that shave. All right, I wet the razor and we're gonna go ahead and stop talking. I know many of you love the sounds of wet shaving, so. I need a shaving bib. I'm definitely not wearing this shirt today. Uh, so I probably could back off on the water a little bit and then that will help compensate for having the wet face. I do have a feather pro guard blade in here. Does that bother you seeing that on my finger? It's thick, it doesn't want to come off my finger. There we go. 
but it has no problem sliding off the razor. That polished stainless steel is very nice. You know what would be nicer? A titanium open comb plate. <laughs> I've been wanting one of those for a while, and I've been bugging Shane over there at uh, Blackland, and he's like, I can't make any promises, but he's not making any guarantees to make it either. <laughs> he's not saying yes, he's not saying no, but it would be nice. I'm sure he could just make 10 or so and be a limited deal, and I'm sure there would be people that would want that. Some people just don't speak up until they see something and it's already in production. So if you're one of those people that would love to have an open comb titanium plate, reach out to Shane or Blackland and say, hey, I really, really need that plate. Please make them. And it'll get Matthew off your back. <laughs> oh boy. I don't have my eyes in, so I can't really tell here, but <clears throat> the lather is feeling kind of thin. I bet I could do a blind shave. Yeah, she's, she's looking thin on me. Yep, she's looking thin on me. Oh boy, all right. Well, there is plenty of, of slickness in this soap, so I don't have any worries about that. And in combination with the, uh, the vector and how it performs, I'm not too worried about getting more irritation. So we're gonna make our Jerry Pass. Oh yeah. And if you guys know Jerry, he always comments and says, when you go across the grain, It makes him nervous for some reason. I don't know. So the shave is going well. It's a nice shave. Other than me making the lather a little bit too thin and dripping all over. So how was your weekend? Do you have any big plans for this upcoming week? I'm going to get cleaned up and I'll be right back. And it's going to be time for the ice stick. Oh yeah. I do like having that in the tube. So much easier. You're not, you don't have to worry about dropping it because it's slick and wet. All right. And let's stick with the theme of black. So let's use our black sheet Lancaster towel. And I do have the matching splash because I thought this would be a scent that I like. And like I said, I, I don't even, I haven't even opened this up. So I don't know if this is stronger or lighter. I don't even know the consistency of it. It's clear. It smells like quite a bit of alcohol. Not getting any burning or stinging, so that's good. It has a little bit of a kind of a gliss glycerin feel to it, some slickness in there. And I'm I'm going to drop my star jelly. I will be applying some star jelly because I need that extra help of recovery from the strange lit blade. That was strange. All right, well, that's not quite the shave yet, but I will put a picture right here of everything that I used 
and I want to show you that Trotter's Handcraft brush once it's cleaned up. All right, here is the brush now that it's all cleaned up. And you can see uh, all I've done is, you know, soaked it for my break in and then I'll lather it with the, in the bowl, rinse it, let it dry, soak, you know, just, just almost like you're shaving except not actually putting it on the face. But that pour is a beautiful green and metallic. It's got the logo there, but uh, I feel like maybe the bowl, the knot on here is just a little, a little too soft for, for me, for me. So I may have to uh, figure out how to get a T1 knot to put in there. All right, well, that's the shave for today, and I will see you guys on Will It Shave Wednesday. You have a great rest of your weekend.